Hi, Chris here with V-Line Industries. Today we're gonna go over the basic install of our V-Line closet ball. Let's go over some of the basic tools you're gonna to need to finish this project. First, you're gonna need a drywall saw, a 7 16 socket wrench, a stud finder, any marking device, pen, pencil, marker. An impact gun will make this job much, much easier if you have it, and a basic tape measure so that you can mark out the box itself. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is find an ideal location. If it's in your home, you may want it to conceal behind clothing in a closet, uh, or be a little bit more accessible for tactical reasons. And in this case, our client wanted it installed in his office behind the door. When you find a location, you wanna make sure that there's no obstructions and interferences. First thing you wanna look at, if it's behind a door, for instance, that the door won't hit the case itself. The case sticks out about two and a half inches off the wall. Once you find that everything is clear and there's no obstructions, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is look visually on both sides of the wall to ensure that there's no obvious electrical on either side of the wall. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to check is to make sure that you have studs that are 16 inches on center. All of our cases that mount inside the wall are meant to be mounted inside studs that are 16 inches on center, which is typical household construction. All right, so go ahead and grab your drywall saw. Uh, first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we kinda of just gotta go for it. And we'll cut a small test hole first uh, so that if you do have to patch the drywall and there's something on the other side that you weren't expecting, uh, that it's easy to patch. Now we're gonna go ahead and mark the dimensions for the cutout itself. The outside dimensions for the cutout are 14 and an eighth by 50 and one eighth uh, approximately. So now we've marked the bottom and the top of the case. We're gonna use the studs themselves to help us uh, cut out the width of the box. Depending on the construction, you may have to shim here and there. We won't know until we get into this. So let's go ahead and cut this out and let's see what we end up with. All right, after we have the hole cut out and cleaned up with the magic of cameras, that took a couple seconds. Um, ideally, um, it will only take you a couple minutes to do this, like I said. Use the studs as kind of your guide, and we're ready to install the case. Okay, after we set the first two screws, we want to test to make sure the door still opens and closes just fine. Make sure the box didn't get tweaked. Everything's still in alignment. Everything looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and install the rest of the screws. And then um, not tighten them down all the way, just get them snug. And again, check the door, make sure the alignment's not off. Sometimes if the hole's a little bit larger than the box, the box may be pulled out of parallel and you may have to loosen some screws up. So we're gonna go ahead and install the rest of the screws and we'll come back and check out fitment after. All right, as you can see, we finished up. That was a really straightforward, easy install. Uh, this customer opted for our single panel rifle mount with a couple of shelves. Uh, he'll load it up and add some more stuff to it. I think it turned out pretty cool and it adds a little bit to an otherwise boring space on the wall. Good talking piece, turned out nice. So if you have any issues, uh, anything comes up, feel free to call our customer service agents. We've got live customer service agents. They would love to hear from you. You can also check out the rest of our products at www.vlineind.com. Look forward to hearing from you.